What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making an easy breakfast skillet. That's right, easy breakfast skillet, but it's gonna be loaded with a bunch of goodies. And I got this idea from a restaurant I went to last weekend. They had a brunch breakfast called the Hangover Breakfast Skillet. It was in the skillet, but it wasn't actually cooked in the skillet. So I'm like, I can do that on the Blackstone. So even though I'm calling it a skillet, I'm not using a skillet. So that's how easy it is but I'm looking forward to it. My mind is working. I think it's gonna be great. We will see. Stick around for that. So what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Everybody, let's get cooking. Here we go. So we have our ingredients for our breakfast skillet. We're gonna start off with the bottom layer of shredded hash brown potatoes. And then we're gonna go on top of that with some griddled onions and green bell peppers. Then on top of that, we're gonna add some jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage, as well as some bacon. On top of that, some pepper jack cheese. On top of that, a couple of eggs over easy. And then our secret sauce from Hidden Valley, which is spicy. So this is gonna be a spicy one. I'm looking forward to this. This is kind of like <laughs> a creative uh, thing here and we'll see how it turns out, but I think it's gonna be awesome. This is my plan and let's get cooking. All right, first thing to go down are our taters. They are definitely gonna take the longest. So again, this is a single serving. So I just want enough for like the bottom of my skillet. In quotation, skillet. Something like that is gonna be perfect. Now the key with these hash browns is to just leave them alone. Don't mess with them. I'm getting them in a shape right now, but other than that, I'm going to basically uh, give them some oil. Maybe a little more. Make them nice and crispy. And then a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. Whoa, it is windy out here today. I literally have to put it down like three inches over to the right to be able to get it onto <laughs> the potatoes. And then a little bit of garlic. Cheese. So while those are cooking up, I'm gonna put down some bacon over here. Come on, Win. And I've got four good sized strips. And I might as well throw down the uh, jalapeno cheddar sausage which are already cooked, but you want to brown them up nicely. And that's it, we let the griddle do its thing. So I'm gonna give these about a, I don't know, five to 10 minute head start, and then I'm gonna put on the uh, peppers and onions. All right, bacon's getting good. I think it's about time to put on the uh, peppers and onions. 
So what I'll do is I will slide these uh, over here. And at the same time, I'm gonna grab some of this bacon grease and put it on our potatoes because why not? Those are gonna be ready to turn real soon. In the meantime, we're gonna cook these peppers and onions right on top of the bacon grease. Just wanna break them up, get some surface area. Turn it down a little bit. We don't want nothing burning. We want to cook, but we don't want to burn. And just, that's it. Let these guys chill out back here. Same thing. A little bit of salt. Pepper. Wind died down for a second. Thank goodness. And garlic. I know, I know. Make my own SPG. I've done it before, just getting lazy. All right, I think these potatoes are ready to flip. If you don't have one of these, you should definitely invest because they are great. Oh yeah, look at this. There we go, ready? Oh, that is a beautiful thing right there. And again, just leave it alone. Bacon crisp up a little bit more. All right, she is coming together. Turn that way down. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy. Um, I'm going to put down some more oil, more bacon. Towards the back. I'm going to move it back here. Just get it out of the way. Let that chill out. These are getting there. I want these like really done, done. I want them to shrink down considerably. So maybe I should move them over here actually. This side of the grill is always hotter. I guess because of the lake, I don't know. Put them right here. this bacon back here put these back here which they look fantastic actually all right so before I put on the eggs I am gonna start to build we're gonna go crispy hash browns we're gonna go onions and peppers, like that. Make a nice little bed for our pork. 
From there, we're gonna add a few of these. Actually, might be easier just to do this. And then we're gonna add some bacon. bacon on here. Wow. <laughs> and then from there, we are going to melt some cheese. Pepper Jack. like that so we'll let that melt a little bit and then once that melts we're gonna top it with our eggs okay we are ready I cleaned up the area a little bit I got two eggs we'll see if I can get them both done seems a little hot but that's okay there's one Feed the ducks. There's two. Look at that. Covered again. Get those eggs nice and done. All right, we are done. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Put this guy right here. Whoa, careful. Everybody be careful. Put this guy right here. Something like that. That is beautiful. Move that over to the center. We're gonna finish that off with a little bit of the secret sauce. Oh my God, that looks incredible. Let me give you guys a close up. What? All right, this is a skillet-less skillet. That is what I'm talking about right there. Let me plate this up and then we'll dig in. All right, this was a lot of fun. We've got our skilletless skillet breakfast, easy breakfast skillet. I don't know what it's called, but it is beautiful. Let me tell you, let me give you a quick close up. I mean, this thing is like hot off the press. Look at that, man. Holy mackerel. That thing is loaded. Cook the right way. Let's dig in, okay? It's not on a plate. It's on a cutting board, but I am just gonna dig in because why not? I do have a napkin in my pocket because you can see. Oh, you can hear the crunch. Are you serious with that? Do you hear that crunch? You can probably hear it from there. Mmm. Oh my God. That sauce is good, by the way. First time I ever tried it. Delicious. I'm getting a little bit of everything in here. Give you a quick close up. Look at that. A little bit of the onions and peppers and the egg and that jalapeno cheddar sausage. 
Mm. Super crunchy with the potatoes. Wow, this was fantastic. Make sure you try this or do something, do something fun with it because this is total creativeness and look how it came out. First time ever doing it. So everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing and commenting and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat 